welcome to today's video tutorial guide and in today's video tutorial guide i'll be showing you how you can create uh how you can use a perspective perspective tool uh in skewing your design so for example what you can see over here is the use of uh, the perspective tool and is uh, also call it skewing on pixel lab you can call it skewing so can you see the way this uh this text is kind of slant like it's facing up so i will i will show you how you can do something amazing like this so without wasting much of time let's get right into this video so the first thing i need to do let me just uh, go over to this background and okay we should have something like this let's work with this okay let me change the size let me change the size to something that we can work with okay so we have something like this uh, no i'm not i'm not okay with this let me bring in company okay oh sorry let me i want something that will be comf comfortable for us to work with uh, and this is not giving me what i want it's not giving me what i want oh sorry oh sorry okay the mistake is over here so let me just give you something that i want to work with okay so let's work with this let's work with this and so let me bring in a text let me bring in a text um let me bring in a text over here now just write um let me just write q so let me just write q let me just write q or something so and um, we have this so let me change the font to something that will be bold and let me just go back to my previous so let me use this font it's called space crew tech so when you have this now so i'm coming let me just increase the size so it's be more legible so we have something like this so i'll be showing you how you can do it how you can do it all right here on pixel lab so when you have this activated so the next thing you need to do now is go over to your grid line and activate the grid line when you've done that i should make sure the uh, magnet is on and when you have it on move or uh, centralize your text so when uh, when this grid line brings this red stuff red stuff on the line it makes it centralized but if i take it to the right that means it's like it's only on the right side but if it's like if uh, the both lines on the horizontal and the vertical lines in the middle bring around that means what it is centralized so when we have something like this now you need to uh, reposition the grid line so it can be you can make the scale effective so go over to this first line and make sure it aligns with the text with the text that will be which is the skill text make sure it aligns and go to the second one also you can just bring it over here and the next one here is move it up let it align with the text uh, horizontally too so like this also let us uh, work with it let us go with it and when you have this now you can go over to your perspective tool, perspective tool over here. And when you activate the perspective tool again, you need to realign the grid line again. So bring in another grid line from here and just make it align with, uh, is it the lines here? Make it align with the lines uh, that is already on the perspective tool. So let me come over here. Let me bring in another text, make it align. And the next one you need to do up here is, uh, you need to uh, make this, a little bit pick it higher i take it higher to than this one so you make uh, the next thing is i make sure the line in between this first one and this second one make sure they are like they are equal with the one below so you just need to uh, bring it a little bit lower add it again take it up and if we have something like this so we need to like says so what we want to do we want to take it higher so when we have something like this we are good to go so just unlock this and now the next thing you need to do is just zoom in sorry just zoom in the design so you can effectively effectively do this thing just zoom in and when you have this like this now go to this stuff and make sure it aligns with this make sure it aligns with the points over here and go back to the middle one also you will reduce it take it up take it up to this next one take it up to this next one and you can effectively you can have you will have something important by this so the reason for using the grid line is for you to have something effective and we have something like this okay just enable it so we didn't enable it the other time so when you enable it you have something like this so when you disable it you need to enable the perspective too and when you enable it you have something like this and let me just okay can you see that 
we've been able to create something that slants so you can create it professionally and effectively so this is basically how you can do it okay let's work with let's say we have one text that are bigger or they are men let me just say edit and write something like skill on pixel lab skill let me just on on pixel lab on pixel lab so oh sorry on pixel lab and you have something like this so when you have something like this so just reduce the size you know it's too big for the screen so when you just increase the size and then um, you increase the size and the line spacing in between reduce the line spacing in reduce the line spacing in between you should have something like this and when you have something like this okay let me just copy again let's work with something else let me just write uh, this sunday this sunday and uh, this sunday so like this is just to show you how you can use it on multiple texts or multiple texts on pixel lab how you can use it with multiple texts and when you have something like this you can just reduce the size reduce the size and um reduce the size i think something like this is okay so go back to um oh sorry go back to uh, rotate and just align it with uh with the ones over here just align it and just you can change the color so for uh, the purpose of other stuff so change the color and you have something like this so just align align to the middle and then um, we have something like this so this is basically how you can use it or you can skill your design and get this kind of effect on pixel lab so if you find this video helpful make sure you like this video so uh, comment if that you love this video and if you want us to work on another video make sure you comment also in the comment section so share this channel share this video to friends that should be part of this and let's make this community was a successful one so thank you for watching this video once again see you in the next video oh my phone is almost dead <laughs>